Hi everyone, my name is Henry Journey and I've been working with Dr. Cleves on understanding Earth's global sulfur cycle using in silico modeling. Sulfur is an essential ingredient for life, as many prokaryotic organisms use it for sustenance, including those that evolved in the early Earth. Considering this importance, it is useful to study the presence of sulfur on Earth, where it exists, and in what quantities. Sulfur cycles throughout major planetary reservoirs, and the presence of life has significantly altered these fluxes between reservoirs, so we have elected to explore planetary sulfur evolution in an abiotic environment. Understanding how sulfur reservoir evolution affects the environmental sulfur availability without biotic influences helped parameterize how sulfur has influenced the emergence of life on Earth and possibly other planets as well. In effect, the purpose of this project is to explore the long-term evolution of sulfur cycling over geologic time by applying data analysis techniques to geochemical reaction modeling using computer programming. The geological evolution of sulfur was simulated using a box model of the major sulfur reservoirs. Over the summer, we spent the first few weeks obtaining literature citations for sulfur reservoirs. Next, we discussed how to adapt the previous used code for other elements, including nitrogen and phosphorus. And the majority of the summer was spent configuring the new code for the different flux pathways and running simulations. These simulations outputted plots such as these, which show the evolution of different seedings converging over 4.5 billion years. You can see here that they can be compared to the present Earth level of reservoirs, the dotted lines, whose discrepancies account for the biotic processes that we ignored. Looking forward, some steps that we would like to take would be separating pathways for different oxidation states of sulfur and varying different parameters, such as Henry's log constants or volcanic outgassing rates to see the effects they have. Overall, this study, while still in progress, will hopefully connect to and help us better understand sulfur in geochemical cycling and the science of sulfur chemistry. Here are the sources I used in this presentation, and I'd like to conclude by saying thank you to the wonderful team of scientists I worked with, including Dr. Cleves and the rest of the team, Javed, Raphael, and Marcos, for helping me throughout the way.